I like to get to the rink early. I don't know if I'm the first one, but one of the first ones there. And as soon as I get there, um, it's just all, you know, you're dialed in and, and you're just you're just focused on the game. And, and for those two and a half hours before the game, it's, uh, I'm not very talkative, you know, not very social at all. I'm just kind of sitting in my stall. And, and I guess one of the quirky things I do is, is I kind of, I turtle, I guess you could call it. I stick my head in my shoulder pads, uh, you know, five, 10 minutes before we go out. And, and, you know, for me, it just kind of feels like, you know, shut everything out, whether the music playing or, or guys are talking and I can just go in there and it's a little quieter. I can, I can focus, a little quiet bubble I put myself in. For me, the national anthem is, uh, you know, kind of the last time I take to, to think and, and, and prepare. Um, and maybe the most intense time too, because, uh, you know, obviously there's a lot of things swirling around your mind and, or in your head and, and uh, you know, what could, what could happen during the game, what could go wrong, what could go well, and, and stuff like that. So you, you kind of use that minute, minute and a half to, to collect all your thoughts. And, and me personally, I use it to pray a little bit and, and, just, and just get focused in for the game. And, and uh, when they're done singing, you know, I'm usually uh, ready to go and, and uh, you know, ready for whatever may come. It's pretty exciting to be able to have the opportunity to, you know, make or break, you know, your team. You can make that big save at the end of the game and give your team a chance. And so um, it's definitely an exciting position by that means.